Hello there, Pokemon Pit. My name is Etika. I've been playing Pokemon competitively since the beginning of 4th gen, late 3rd gen, and um, I'm not even going to spend too much time talking. Follow up if you want, and follow my channel. Anyway, so I had a battle with Ian, and um, he started with the Landorus, so um, I go into Salvia, my, um, well, anyway, Salvia takes the U-turn, and um, I know it's going to do a lot of damage, because naturally Landorus does hits like that, so um, he switches out, and he goes into his, um, his Salamence, okay, so I predicted well here, because I went for a Glare, because I knew it would be a fast Pokemon coming in, and I know these things like to Dragon Dance as well, so I follow up with a Taunt, but, um, Sadly, I get out predicted, and he goes straight for the flamethrower. But luckily, I'm able to hold on. So that tells me that this is one of those mixed elements. So I go into my siren, my Lapras, and he withdraws as well. And he goes into his um, Landorus once more. Now, um, I could have stayed in and go for the ice shards, but I didn't want to take a superpower. So I go back into Salvia, and he goes for a U turn once again. So that made me wish I had ice shards, but don't worry, I, I handled this Landorus later on. Anyways, so Ian takes his Landorus out, and he goes into his Blissey, which is once again a wall we all know and despise. And um, I go into my Poppy. Now, Poppy, um, I gave it Toxic, which is sort of strange on a Mammal Swine, but I mean, it does a job. Anyway, so it has a Heal Bell, which completely like counteracts exactly what I wanted to do. And he also healed the Salamence of the Paralysis that I gave it from the Glare. So now he goes into his Jellicent. And um, I go for the Earthquake. Now, since these things are naturally not very defensive, it takes the hit very bad. I mean, I did more than I thought it would, but he has Cursed Body, so <laughs> that's where I get a little screwed. But um, not that big of a deal. I go into my Cicada, who is a special attacker, my um, Excelgor, and you're, you're probably wondering, why Excelgor? Well, I have faith in my Excelgor that I'll be able to take this Jellison down because I carry the Giga Drain, but he goes right into his Heat Ran, so um, Cicada also has a Life Orb, so that's more damage on me. So, I mean, that was a bad play on my part. I should have predicted it and gone for the Focus Blast, but then again, you can't really rely on Focus Blast these days, right? So, all right, I'm trying to, like, figure out exactly what to do here, and, of course, like I just said, the Focus Blast is totally unreliable. I, I really do apologize to my Cicada for letting her die like that, but I mean... Uh, you know what? A lot of people blame their Pokemon sometimes, but really, it's all about the trainers. Anyway, so I go into Soul Glow once more. I'm very proud of my Soul Glow, especially defensively bulky, and he goes into a Salamence. Now, I go straight for a Head Charge because it's the highest damaging move, plus it's an Afro. I mean, it, it, it's good. And it takes it out in one hit. If I had the Intimidate, maybe I would have not been able to take it out. But nope, one hit, Afro Break, that's it. Get him out of here. So Dragonite comes in, and he goes for the Waterfall. But naturally, Buffalon has good HP and very good defenses base-wise, so it, it didn't do too much. I go for the Afro Break, and even with the Marvel skill, it does about half damage to Dragonite. That's not something to laugh at at all. Anyway, so to finish his Dragonite off, I go into Mick. Mickey, Mouse, Raticate, get it? <laughs> and But he predicts that and goes into his Jellicent. So... The Retaliate does nothing at all, and so now I'm saying, okay, maybe I can Sucker Punch because he might scald me, but he goes for the Recover, so that's another bad misprediction on my part. Huh. Anyways, but I still have faith in Mick. I mean, Mick has won a lot of battles for me. I mean, a lot of people don't see it coming. This is a um, Hustle Eradicate, so my moves have a chance of missing, but they do so much damage when they hit the right targets. Oh, boy. Anyways, so... We have this heat ran here once again, and I'm really tired of this thing, so I go back into Poppy. Now, if it stayed, like, wait, no, this wasn't paralyzed. It was the Salamence that was. But anyways, he hit me with the um, heat with the Lava Plume, right? And I'm, I mean, it doesn't do too much because I'm naturally bulky, so I Earthquake, and um, that's about it. The heat ran is done. Anyway, so now that I have the heat ran gone and out of the picture, I can definitely concentrate more on the things that don't, have the steel resistances, and he has the slanderous. I go straight for the ice shard. No joke whatsoever. We're not playing games in here. Landorus goes down in one hit. I mean, I have maximum attack in my poppy, so there's no way that that Landorus was living that. And um, so this match is going along pretty well. Um, and then Blissey comes out. If I had superpower on poppy, I'd be able to take it out, no problem. But all I have is the earthquake and the ice shard with the toxic. So um. Nothing much really being done there. So I Earthquake, and I actually get a critical hit, which is really cheesy on my part. But I mean, hey, it happens sometimes. This is a game where luck has a great influence. I mean, if it happens to me, whatever. If it happens to them, great. Anyway, so um, I would have probably Toxic the first turn, but it has the um, natural cure, so no reason in doing that. He goes back into the Dragonite, and I go for another Earthquake. But I mean, 
I just wanted to play it safe. No more predictions here. This is for Pokemon Mosh Pit. I have to make sure I look good. So he extreme speeds, right? And like I knew and I had like an inkling from the beginning that this Dragonite was choiced in some way, you know? And if it's extreme speed Dragonite, then it's gotta be choice banded. So that choice band this is what let me know it was choice banned. It takes Mick out in one hit. I mean sure it's eradicate, but I mean still it's not even stab, but whatever the case may be. Now I know it's choice banded. So I go into my um, my wonderful Siren. This Pokemon is beautiful. It has done so much service for me in the past. It's a curse set. So I do one curse, and um, he stays in with the Dragonite. I think he tries to like get as much damage off of me as possible. The thing is, as you all know, Lapras is extremely bulky on both sides, and its HP is enormous. So taking this thing down after it has a couple of curses with physical moves is not exactly the smartest way to approach it. But the thing is, I have maximum special defense and maximum HP as well. So pretty soon, both sides are going to be pretty much impenetrable. The only thing I lack is an instant recovery move, but you'll see why that's not needed soon. Obviously, this guy is trying to stay in to be able to get a critical hit. I mean, that's the only reason why you would stay in with a Dragonite Choice Banded on a cursing Pokemon. So, um, no luck for him, and I go for another curse. Now, the thing is, um, the Slappers would be really slow, so somebody can just come in and revenge kill it, right? No problem, right? I mean, that's the major flaw with this Pokemon, but the thing is, like, I mean, well, I was trying to fix this flaw, but actually, nah, never mind, no flaws. Ice Shard, baby boom right to the blissey's face with all those curses i'd like to see something survive that well at least a blissey at that low hp so um with all those curses and the ice shards there's no possible reason i would ever even need speed so jellison comes in and i use the bulldoze to be able to slow it down a little bit even though i know i'll never be as fast as it now but um it still does a whole lot of damage, but sadly my bulldoze is disabled. But now I know he doesn't have the water absorbed, so I can use my Aqua Tail without any worries. And um, this is where the battle gets really, really interesting. The Ice Shards come in. Will the Jellicent survive? Nope. I mean, as you all know, its regular defense isn't all that great, so luckily that works out for me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the battle, by the way, Pokemon Pit. I mean, I really put a lot of effort into this one, so um, I hope you enjoy. Anyway, so the Dragonite comes back in, right? And now he goes on an extreme speed war, but sadly, it won't do too much. The thing is, my Lapras, well, normally they carry water absorb, but just to prevent any hacks from happening, I carry the shell armor. Anyways, it was a great time, Pokemon Pit. If you enjoyed the video, you can go to my channel and subscribe or add me. Uh, you don't even have to subscribe. It really doesn't matter to me that much. Just watch my videos and enjoy them. That's all I want. That's my gift to you as a fellow member of the Pokemon community. Anyways, take care and have a good one. And good game to my opponent. Very, very nice.